Hi, my name is Elisa. I'm one of the coaches with the AMP Inner Circle, and I'm answering a question that Sparky wrote about being able to for men to feel their hearts. I want to respond to this post because I think it speaks to an issue that a lot of men deal with that I've had um, experiences with in my own life with with men in my own life um, who may be challenged to be in their heart and feel their heart. And I want to talk about the impact of that experience on me. So when I experience a man and I sense that he's not connected to his heart, I tend to not trust him as much. And it makes me nervous because as a woman, I want to relax into my man's strength and also his vulnerability, his, his, the truth that in his, that's in his heart and knowing that he can tap that and communicate that with me. There was also a piece where you talked about, you know, when a man doesn't get loved by his dad, you know, in the fable, the, the mom said, I'll protect you, but the little boy didn't get the protection from, from his father. I think that's an excellent point, and I think that men who didn't have that connection with their father do struggle as adult men um, to claim that, uh, that um, rightness within themselves to be vulnerable. I know it sounds so foreign, doesn't it? But, you know, in this community at least, um, you'll definitely find, and I'm glad you did, AMP and uh, are staying connected because I think it is rare to find people who are so gung-ho and so actively finding their edge on where they can love more and connect more and tell more truth. And so I just want to encourage you and all men to find that place where you actually can stay connected and tap into your heart and speak your truth from there. It's an incredible, incredible experience and one that I cherish and deeply appreciate and would want to be with that guy. That guy. Thank you.